Welcome. Ah, you've returned. How goes the task I gave you? I have to admit, I didn't think it would actually be there. Now, let's take a look at this. Oh. Oh, no. This won't do at all. The copy is incomplete. It's aged to the point that parts are unreadable. And the parts that are readable... Well, bardic verse has come a long way since ancient times. It means I can't read it to the court. Without the verse, I won't be able to convince Elisif of the importance of the burning of King Olaf Festival. If she isn't convinced of the festival's importance, then she won't reverse her decision to stop the effigy burning. It means that the burning of King Olaf, which the Bard's College has held for time immemorial, won't be happening. Make it up? That doesn't seem appropriate. I suppose I could copy his style based on what you brought me, but I have no idea what happened in between these verses. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer, death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. King Olaf was Olaf One-Eyed? He famously captured the dragon Numenex and took him to Dragon's Reach. What did we say really happened? Writing it in. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Strange. According to history, Solitude attacked Winterhold, but this seemed to be saying Olaf reacted. What do we say happened? That sounds good. I, I'm not sure the court will believe that Olaf had wizard powers, but we shall see. It has a few final lines, but that's all we needed to add. I need to head to court immediately and present this. You should come. I do hope the court likes the verse. I think we've done an excellent job of recreating it.
I do hope the court likes the verse. I think we've done an excellent job of recreating it. Heard there were wolves on the road up north. I keep coming out here thinking I'll see what others see in this. A hard woman to please, I know. I'm pleased I do the hope the court lo I think my voice is ready. I hope we've done this well. Viarmo, I assume you are here to petition for the reinstatement of the burning of King Olaf festival. I am, Jarl. I wish to I present King Olaf's verse from the poetic Edda, I didn't expect it to be recovered that big. this very day from the Bard's tomb. You mentioned something that would convince us the festival should take place, but I didn't expect King Olaf's lost verse. Please proceed. Oh, Olaf, our subjugator, the one-eyed betrayer. Death-dealing demon and dragon-killing king, your legend is lies, lurid, and false. Your cunning capture of Numenex, a con for the ages. No shouting match between dragon and man, no fire or fury did this battle entail. Olaf struck a deal to make himself king. Numenex let go. Though none tell that tale. Olaf grabbed power by promise and threat. From fall grief to winter hold, they fell to their knees. But solitude stood strong, Skyrim's truest protectors. Olaf's vengeance was instant, inspired, and wicked. Because Solitude would not soon bend knee, Olaf would hurt them while his status accrued. He sacked Winterhold, his only true ally, and used magic bold to blame Solitude. So ends the story of Olaf the Liar, a thief and a scoundrel. We of Solitude commit to the fire. In solitude, bards train for their service. They also gather each year and burn a king who deserves it. You have proven your point, Viarmo. The festival is truly a celebration of solitude and a condemnation of false kings. I thank you, and the college thanks you, Jarl. Furthermore, I believe that such a fine poem deserves some payment of patronage. The college will be moderately rewarded. Oh, thank you yet again. I will make sure our applicant, who was instrumental in recovering the poem, will be well rewarded. Unbelievable! You have done us a great service here. I can't begin to thank you enough. Soon, soon. These things must be done properly. You will be inducted as part of the festival itself. I need you to go speak to Yorn. He was preparing the effigy of King Olaf. Tell him to finish the preparations. The festival is back on! And? I've seen Jarl's come and go. This one only became Jarl because her husband died. We should have the festival soon. Watch your There are some that say the Dark Brotherhood is back, and stronger than ever. That they've made Dawnstar their home. Hmm. 
Lady Aetia says my voice is second only to hers, but she says... Ah, the bard to be. Did Viarmo send you? I'll tell everyone we're ready, but we'll start the festival at dusk. Come talk to me after dark. We'll get the festival started when you do. Youngest bard at the Bard's College, at your service. to be. Did Viarmo send you? Great! Looks like you'll be one of us soon. We'll gather outside the college for the burning of King Olaf. Oh, it's been excellent lately, Anna. You still need training, but one day you will make an adequate singer. Yes, Dean. Thank you. You've done well by restoring our festival. Congratulations on getting the festival restored. Solitude. We of the Bard's College are pleased to be here to celebrate the burning of King Olaf. The festival would not have been possible without the dedication and hard work of our latest applicant. With the lighting of the effigy, He becomes a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Please welcome our newest Bard. I think they like you. Yes, congratulations. You are now a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. Due to your adventurous nature, several of the college professors have some things they wish you to do. What's more, Elisif has declared the burning of King Olaf should become a weekly event. And finally, there's the matter of the patronage that Elisif wanted me to give you. So nice to get this break from my cleaning duties. 